was that thought of, you know, this, this is it. You know, this is everything that you've learned in your entire life coming to this moment, you know, to ride this wave successfully. So you better not fucking fall. This is just a platform to share the most interesting stories in surfing, whether it's kind of in the vein of ESPN's 30 for 30 or 60 Minutes, where you really drill into a character and issue and you get really intimate with it. We've plotted out about six or eight others, and we plan to do a piece that we, we began to film with Kelly Slater, kind of inside the mind of surfing's greatest competitor, really trying to understand the things that make him tick, whether it's his politics, whether it's the legacy he hopes to leave, the impact his, his father's had on his life really trying to understand him as a person. And we've got a couple others on, on the slate as well. This, this first piece that we're doing, it's directed by Richard Yelland. One of the things I, I think is really interesting about it is it doesn't take much to understand and appreciate it. It's like big wave, small person. And there's a story to be told about that. And really trying to, to humanize that element of it by finding out about who that little speck is on that giant mound of energy and what brought him there and to really drill down into that person's character and then the people who love him the people who support him the people who enable him to pursue that dream i think that's a great story greg i think is a really interesting he's just a really interesting person but he's also really interesting as a big wave surfer he particularly is a really thoughtful and articulate individual and i think he's capable of really explaining and giving insight into what it means to be a big wave surfer, what it's like to, to, to dedicate your life to something like that. And it, so over the course of the last couple weeks spending time with him, it's really abundantly apparent like how meticulous he is in his planning and how much it, it means to him. It's kind of like a, a calling. It's not so much a profession. He would be there throwing a paycheck or not. I, I feel like he probably could have done anything. It's interesting that he's chosen big wave surfing as his pursuit. I saw Greg take off on that wave. Yeah, he was really deep and he got down to the bottom and the section came over and unloaded on him and he went down pretty hard. You know, when you're watching the board tombstone and, it, and it's a, uh, that was a very, very powerful swell. One of the most powerful ones I've seen at Mavericks. It was a 20 second plus interval and, and it was, the swell was just arriving. And, and when he went down, I knew it was, it was bad and, and that there was a high likelihood it would be a two wave hold down. I, mean, I, I hope that when people watch this film, they can pull some of that inspiration that Greg puts out there. I would hope that viewers can think a little bit about what it is for them that represents a fulfilling life and, and pursuing it you know, recklessly to an extent. <laughs>